among the destroyed walls of this Palestine primary UN school. Located in the Jubali refugee camp in northern Gaza, we found Palestinian families taking shelter in damaged or destroyed buildings as they ran out of safe shelters options. The school was under heavy Israeli bombings over the past few weeks. Following the withdrawal of the Israeli army, families stormed into the school and made it their new home. Despite the danger of the building's imminent collapse, the Hamdan family could not find another place to live after the destruction of their home in Beit Hanun. We stay in this destroyed building. We live in fear that the building will fall on us. Two days ago, the roof of a bathroom fell on a man. He suffered major head injuries and lost consciousness. A child was also injured. We have no other place to go and no other choice. Palestinians living in Gaza are running out of sheltering choices. The schools are full. The tents are not strong enough to protect them from the rain. And the partly destroyed buildings are the last option. Our six-story house in the north was bombed and 42 people lie dead under the rubble. We have not been able to reach them. We were displaced to the city of Khan Yunus first, then we fled to the city of Rafa after the Israeli tanks stormed in. We found no shelter for ourselves except under the rubble. It's a very unsafe place, but we have no other choice. The Gaza Strip may need years of reconstruction before the displaced can go back to a normal life in homes, but with so much destruction, homes are not the only thing in need of repair. The infrastructure also needs to be rebuilt, like electricity lines, water and sewage systems, even the internet and communications lines.